My name is Rachel Pachter and I am the Chief Development Officer for Vineyard Wind. I went to the University of Alaska. I got to do a lot of really cool things. I was teaching as an undergrad. I was doing field work in the Arctic Wildlife Refuge. Moose everywhere and northern lights all the time. It was quite a novel experience, which I recommend to people for college. You know, take a risk. It's a time when you can see new things. It was also inexpensive because it was a state school, so that worked out well too. When I left college, I got involved in the first U.S. wind farm that was proposed, the Cape Wind Project. I started there as an intern back in early 2002, so almost 20 years ago. To me, it was kind of a no-brainer. I just jumped right in. I always say I'm a duckling being raised by elephants. I walked into a room of men who'd been in this industry for 40 years and was like, I can keep up with them and I can work with them. I think they were sort of confused by this approach. So what I did was mold my personality towards the way they approach things. That also wasn't sustainable. I was like, you know, I need to meet more senior women in the energy industry. I randomly reached out to some female mentors on LinkedIn. And when I knew I was going to a conference, I have a couple of random meetings. I've been very lucky that a number of the men that I've worked with have been interested in what that different experience is and how they could adjust for it. So I've been very lucky that I've been able to have those open conversations. We'll be building the Vineyard Wind project out of the port of New Bedford. We're investing in the community here and engaging with the schools. Vineyard Wind does have an internship program. Internships are definitely a great way to get involved, but there's a whole range of things that we need. There's engineering, scientists, political science. It's a huge landscape of options. Bristol Community College, they've been a great partner in terms of making sure that we're ready for this huge industry that is such a once in a lifetime opportunity. Welcome representatives from Vineyard Wind. My title is the Chief Development Officer at Vineyard Wind. I have a team of about 30. It's a very different experience when we were just two or three of us. But as it grows, we bring in people who want to work hard, who are enthusiastic about our goals. Recently, we've had the most ultimate success, which is finally getting all of our approvals. But the underlying success has been building an enthusiastic and dedicated team. That team has grown up in about two years, so about as fast as offshore wind is growing. I think that's been our biggest success.